So the rear end of this car is effectively, uh, we built it sort of around this sprint axle here. Uh, it's the second time that we've run this sprint axle in our mm -hmm. car before. Uh, we were running a watts linkage mm -hmm. uh, on the previous car, but because uh, the axle and the engine were independent of each other, the chain length, we uh, kept it fairly long to reduce the effect of uh, the binding roll. Um, so this year we're looking to tighten that chain up, reduce the weight in that, uh, push the centre of gravity backwards a bit and also push some of the aerodynamics like the front wing uh, components forward. Mm -hmm. um, so that was where it started. Um, it then we were sort of drawing up solutions, uh, manually sketching them around and uh, we sort of realised that the suspension members were a perfect in the perfect position to mount the engine. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was another part of integration uh, for this concept. Uh, it took a few weeks to develop that and just get it around uh, mm -hmm. just what it was and what it was going to be. And then several more months of further concept development and design in that way. Uh, so we were actually really looking to reduce the parts count, mm -hmm. uh, increase the simplicity on this. Uh, so this suspension system effectively is about a third the parts of a typical AA arm pushrod mm. suspension system. 